Do you want to finish it or you're, you're good? No, I'm good, man. Carne asada is one of the easiest things you can cook outside. You don't gotta make a mess inside the house. I enjoy cooking, so I end up cooking quite a bit. Started teaching my kids on how to flip the carne asada on the grill, how to make it. To me, carne asada is kind of like the easiest food to make. I love it because, you know, we're grilling, we're, we're talking. It's fun time with the family. I think my carne asada is better because it's cooked with mesquite. As a Mexican, we always learn to cook with mesquite. To me, the perfect carne asada, I have the red marinade on it. I have my own. Special recipe. I like mine tender, where it just melts in your mouth. The onions that I add in it, the seasoning is gonna add that good flavor. Bad kind of salad is if you don't prepare it well, then not the right condiments. Overcooked ends up tasting like beef jerky. That's definitely not something you ever want to put in your tacos. I have a catering business. We do tacos. Best ones is carne asada tacos. I think it's a good chance to win. I think for myself, what makes a perfect carne asada is when it is very tender and it just kind of like melts in your mouth like a really good steak. And I would have to. So that's what makes mine very unique. I think I'm gonna win because that marinade that I make, it's kind of like my own uh, secret recipe. So I, I think that uh, my carne asada is bomb. Presentation looks good. Texture is all there. You got your onions, your salsa. It's not as tender as I thought it would be. Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. A little chewy. It's well cooked. It has good flavor to it. Good seasoning. The salsa is good. It has a kick to it. Probably cook a little bit longer, hit it, you know, so open up the meat. To make this uh, carne asada better, I would tenderize it. We need to marinate a little longer. I would give it a, a seven. On a scale of one to 10, I would rate this uh, a six. I think mine's way better. <laughs> All right, so good presentation. The tomato, the cilantro, cebolla, even looks like some jalapeno. The presentation looks good, nice and colorful. The meat looks really juicy. It actually looks a lot like mine. Let's see. Not bad, I think it needs more seasoning on it. It's a little pan, I think the salsa just overpowers the meat. It doesn't have that full flavor of carne asada. But it's not bad, what I do like about the meat though is that it's nice and tender. Would I give it to my family? I think I would, I think they'll like it. The first one, it was more juicier. This one, it's lacking the flavor. I think on a scale of one to 10, I'll give it like a seven. Overall, it's, it's okay, it's not bad. I will give it a seven. My meat, it's more carne asada Mexican. I think I got it. Cool. But it's it looks a little dry. It, to me, it kind of looks like jerky-like. I feel like I'm gonna be eating some beef jerky in a tortilla. Let's try it, see if it uh, tastes good. A lot more flavor. It tastes very like smoky, way different than the other one that I tasted. Like I said, it's jerky-like taste, overcooked, dry. I don't know, man. I think the Santa Ana winds like got a hold of the thing and like dried it out. <laughs> I wouldn't give this to my kids or my family. They would Joke, probably. This one, to be honest with you, I don't think my family would like it. Taste is good, don't get me wrong. Taste is good, but it's just uh, a little overdone and dry. The sauce is really good. It has a good little kick to it. On this one, I'll give it a, a four. Great on a scale of one to 10, I'll probably be like right at like a five. This is a little thinner, so it's overcooked. The other one's thicker, so it needed to be cooked a little longer and yeah. marinated. I think mine is like a good mix in between these two because I feel like mine has a lot of flavor, good seasoning in it, but it's also pretty tender. I think my kind of will take this by a mile. They're gonna take this one. Sorry, boys. It's been fun, but Sam's gotta run. <laughs> you won! I won! Wow. Thank you, yeah. I was pretty much sure that I was gonna win based on my recipe, uh, how I cook my carne asada. To all the deaths out there, don't be ashamed of your game. You know, do your carne asada the way you like to do it. I know everybody has their own recipes, but if you need any tips, uh, let me know. We'd be glad to help. Good luck out there.